Going to the movies has been one of America's favorite pastimes for more than a century. But recently, the industry has faced a major shakeup. The coronavirus pandemic has led to numerous businesses around the world shutting down, including movie theaters. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the film industry has lost over $5 billion in revenue, and many films scheduled to be released have been delayed, much to the disappointment of film fans such as Yazari Vasquez. I was I was hoping for um, Wonder Woman uh, 1984. I was really I was really waiting for that one because that was a that that looks like a fun and a techno movie that uh, that that seemed to be um, like a joyride. But now obviously I'm gonna have to wait for that one. Alex Proctor, president of Four Real Pictures, says the pandemic will have a significant effect on filmmakers. I think the impact. Uh, will certainly affect the social aspect of filmmaking. The fact that filmmaking has always been about making movies as a team on site, meeting on site, of course, will be difficult. But at the same time, I think it will enhance our creativity. But it's not just film studios being affected. The pandemic has severely impacted movie theater chains, too. Companies such as AMC have reportedly filed for bankruptcy, while others such as Cinemark Theatres are holding on and are hoping to reopen by July. But despite these setbacks, the industry has found a way to reach many of its fans. I think it will affect just uh, people going to the movie theaters. It will affect that if people do go to the movie theaters, they would have to still maintain social distance. And I think movie theaters will have to temporarily, in my opinion, go to streaming since online activity seems to be the best way to interact in this time period of social distancing and self-isolation. Films such as Onward and Trolls World Tour saw early release on home media, and local art house theaters, such as the Coral Gables Art Cinema, are offering digital film rentals on their website. Despite the hardships, fans have not given up their love of going to the movies. Now that I'm home, now I can take the time and really go through some movies that I'm not able to watch in the theaters, like international movies. So for me, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it, uh, it, it really destroys the experience. Reporting for UMTV, I'm Ryan Grill.